Hey what's up guys welcome to Fine Gap. In today's video I'm going to teach you how to add a product in WooCommerce. So without any delay let's start. Here you can see that I am on my dashboard of WordPress. On the left side you can see an option for WooCommerce. You have to install the WooCommerce plugin before doing these steps. And below this you will see another option of products. Click on add new. You will see this form to add new products. First of all here you have to add your product name. For example small t-shirt for children's. Or we can add here another word like summer t-shirt for children's. Next you have to do create a product description. I'm going to use chat GPT for this. Here you can see that I have opened the chat GPT. What I'm going to do, I will simply copy this title, open chat GPT and I will type here a prompt. Write a product description for my WooCommerce product. I have choose this title for my product and in these quotations I will paste that title here. So chat GPT can distinguish which is prompt and which is title. That's why I have added these double columns here. Make sure the description should be SEO friendly. You can also suggest me the improved title suggestions. Let me press enter and now you can see that first of all it have provide me a title like cool breeze kids summer t-shirt trendy and comfortable. Obviously this is better than that what we have typed. I will paste that title here and similarly you can see that it have provided me the description. I will just simply copy this description and paste at this position. Obviously you can customize this according to your requirement. After writing the description scroll down and here we have one more important part where you can add product settings like price, which type of product you have, shipping method and this type of stuff. First of all you can also select virtual or downloadable if you are selling a course or some PDF file this type of stuff but I'm not going to select these options because we are supposing that t-shirt is a physical product. So first of all I will type here regular price. The reason it is displaying me currency in RS because when I was installing WooCommerce it asked me country. So I select Pakistan and in Pakistan uh, there is a rupees currency that why it is automatically displaying me the currency of my own country. Here it is asking for sales price. I will select 400. So this is some type of discount we are giving to customer. If you are uploading your product for a sale, for example, your product will be available at 400 price between 11th to 12th date of December. You can also schedule your product. So this type of sale is like the last give 11-11 sales in Pakistan. So you can also choose sales price dates. I'm not going to select that. And next, obviously, it have another options like inventory shipping. Obviously, you can explore these options like inventory. Uh, you can select this either this product is in stock or out of stock. For example, you have 20 pieces of product and B goes out of stock. You can select this option and save later. So no one will be able to place order on your website because your product is out of stock. You can also limit your purchase to one item per order. Uh, so user cannot place multiple orders. Next we have shipping option. You can add this information here. And here obviously WooCommerce provide us other options. But these are not very important. Here it asks you for product short description. You can also write that. Let me copy that short description from here. And paste at this position. Next scroll up. And on the right side, you will see an option for product image, which is very important. Let me click on set product image. You can also select from media library or upload a file. So I will select from my computer. Let me click on select files. On desktop, I have downloaded a uh, image. So I will select this and click open. You can see that I have select this image. Next click set product image. If you want to add more products, you can also add product gallery images. The technique is same that we use to add product image. Next we have product categories. Obviously if you have bundle of products you can categorize those products. So user will easily visit your stores and easily reach out to that specific product which he want. 
so let me add some categories for example men's shirt and uh, so the category is added here I will add another category like children's shirts I will click on click and again I will type here female shirts so I just have add three categories for example and uh, for example because this is a children's shirt so I will select so I'm going to select children shirts category only and I'm going to select unselect them next we have product tags for example if someone user want to search a product on your store and he did not directly type uh, this title he can also type for example children shirt children and I will press add so basically by default uh, this shirt will be appear in that search too so you can add different type of product tags so if user search in other words your product still will be visible to you to the user so we have done with that let me click on publish so our product is added successfully you can also click on add products to view all of your available products you can also click on export them you can also import products from csv but we have added this product and let me click on view so friends you can see that this is how our product will look like on our website uh, because we were selected out of stock that's why it is displaying out of stock we have tags we have categories and obviously these things help are very important for SEO purposes the keyword you use the tags you choose the title you choose these keywords are play an important role in your SEO of your store so make sure to learn about SEO and choose this title and description very carefully so friends obviously WooCommerce provides us different short codes so we can display a collection of products on our store I'm not going to talk about that but uh, if you have any question you can ask us in the comment section we will try to answer your question and please subscribe to our YouTube channel for our regular videos and finally thanks for watching